think Sheffield United fans believe they've just won the league. They've just beaten us. Uh, it wasn't great today, was it? Yeah, they've won their cup final, haven't they? Um, no, I, I actually think in sort of the second half of both half we 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 improved slightly, but I, th I think that was the implications of Wednesday night and a, a, a squad that was really tired. Uh, I think Sheffield United outclassed us, to be honest. Mm. Was it was it a slight kind of tiredness? Because for me, we've looked like that at home all season. Yeah, I, th I think it took 20 minutes for them to to get to to really sort of get the cobwebs out, if you like, from from Wednesday and. and uh, I think you could tell even when the ball was out for a goal kick, their heads were down, and, and I think psychologically, more than anything, they were they were tired. But I, I don't think they can use that as an excuse. I, I think Sheffield United played a better system and, and, and had better teams, and, and they remind me a lot of what we were like under Lambert. So you know, I can't, I can't complain too much. I mean, you talk about the system there. Chris was saying to me throughout the whole half, we don't have a midfielder who can carry the ball forwards. Would you say that's an issue? Yeah, I think we got really overrun in midfield today. Um, I, I, I don't think Teddy had his best game, and, and I think we really missed Tribal. Um, Harrison Reed confuses me slightly. He's not an enforcer, and then he's not a ball player. He's, he's sort of someone that, that gets busy but doesn't do too much. And I think at times he loses his, his position, and, and that doesn't help. Um, but yeah, I think midfield, we were really poor today. Really, really poor. It, it still, for me, is a worry. We just don't look that exciting going forwards, and it's looked the same all season. Away, it's slightly different because we set up in a slightly different way. But at home, it's still not making me excited. There's, there's not a a real desire to get in the box and, and, and try and force the issue um, it, it seems to me that like they're trying to wait, work sort of the perfect opportunity and sometimes you have to do it ugly and you have to do it from set pieces and this team doesn't for whatever reason like to do that um, you know our, our goal today has come from a set piece and, and beyond that before that point we, we didn't really create too much so we need to we need to force the issue uh, we need to play through the lines a bit, a bit better and, and Sometimes we need, we need to be a bit more direct in our, in our offensive play, definitely. I mean, we have one striker and you talk about players getting in the box. That's surely Nelson's job to do that. And he's not. And he ha he's not scoring goals either. Yeah. It's a worry now. Yeah, it's a worry. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, I, I think, I, mean, I, I don't know off the top of my head how many goals the midfielders have scored this season. Sort of centrally anyway, not, not attacking midfielders. Um, but there's, I, I, you know, you remember days of, of Johnny House and sort of lurking on the edge of the box. There's, there's just no impetus and no intensity to get in the box and make something happen. And I think that's a real issue. But yeah, Oliveira um, needs a rest. What have you made of Pinto last couple of games? Because it seems like he doesn't really have a, a final product and no one's questioning his work great. But defensively today as well, I thought he was a bit shaky. I think he's struggling physically, really. I've, I, I mean, he was on in, he was on injections for this game, uh, so he's, he's he's really struggling. Um, so, you know, I, I think if, if they come out of this window without a right back, I'd be absolutely amazed, mm. absolutely amazed. Um, I, I actually think today he was he was much better, particularly sort of the the second period of the second and half. I think he uh, he had a lot more sort of offensive impetus, but defensively does leave a lot to be desired at times um, and, and yeah you can't question his work rate but especially when he plays that wing back you've, you've, you're, you're reliant on him to um, get a lot of your, your sort of output in sort of in wide areas so um, he needs to improve in that, in that department I suppose after the win at Bristol and that fantastic performance against Chelsea we may have all got carried away a little brought back down to reality today I think so yeah I think maybe a, a reality check in terms of how far this, this side is off the top six uh, Sheffield United should be there pretty comfortably the way they played today they were excellent um, you know better system and, and, and as, as I said earlier reminded me of Lambert in terms of no star names but, but a team that works and is organised and in this division that's, that's sort of you know a catalyst to, to build on so and Chris Wilder was loving it at the end there yeah yeah I, I think that had been built up in him for a, for a few months but uh it's strange, isn't it, how Sheffield United fans saw today as such a huge game? Yeah, yeah. I think in terms of their season, it, it probably is to a degree. They've had, before this game, they'd only won two in ten, so uh, they've fallen off the pace. I think they were three points ahead of Norwich before this, so it was it was to a degree a must-win game, and I think they've proven why they're up there because they have the grit and they have the determination and, and and they defend well as a unit, and I think that's that's key in this division. What are you thinking going forwards? Optimistic. Uh, I, I think where where they are now is, is probably about where they will finish. To be honest, I, I think this is quite a streaky team. When when they're confident and they play well, they look good. And, and you know, but but you can never say never with this league because you know you, you put four four results together and suddenly you're right up there again. So uh, who knows? But for me at the moment, I think it's uh, I think it's mid table. Connor, top man. Cheers, mates, buddy.